here topics of plant based meat or plant based products. So it means the agriculture is staying here. Right? You don't get surprised. You don't get surprised if somebody has constructed a green building. But people used to get surprised maybe 10 years ago. So things are changing. Right? Uh, I was recently building my own house and we were looking for alternate materials. Today there is market for that. The cost is almost equal to a non-green building, you know, products. So hence the le level of surprises have come down. Now, one example is energy sector. So 70% of India, of course, we know that energy is related to coal, and we all know that most of our cars are and the transport sector is, is still with petrol and diesel. But things are changing. Electric vehicles are becoming the new normal. But the question to us, you know, uh, reflect on is what's going to happen with the all expanded assets. Right? Uh, these vehicles, we know that they have, they have to be electrocuted. We know that uh, the thermal power capacity in India, which has been built over decades, we, what will we do with that? You know, that space, that infrastructure, it has to go under renovation and reconstruction. Now, because the standard assets are increasing, the banking sector, the finance sector, the insurance sector is changing. Right? Some of you are doing your MBAs in finance. And today, if you are not taught about how the banking and the financial sector is changing, it means you are learning from the textbooks which have been written maybe 30 years ago or 40 years ago, right? or even 10 years ago. But now, uh, the entire central banking system or the way the, you know, the personal banking is done is strange. You don't see so many ATMs because so many, so many of us are using uh, mobile phones. Right? And I would encourage you to read uh, the recent RBI guidelines which have been issued on green finance. And it even talks about the way the banking sector has to change. And if you are going to graduate, uh, if you are going to post-graduate in, in this year or next year, you will enter into banking sector which is totally different. So hence it's important for you to upskill yourself. And I'll come to that point. Now the world of business is changing, right? Uh, business are, uh, businesses are at risk. You have heard about this many times, right? Uh, now, what, what is the significant reason for that? If you look at the way businesses have conducted themselves over the centuries and over decades, there were exponential 